looked nice for you guys today. I took a shower, put on some deodorant, put on some cologne. Look good, feel good, play good, wheel of mutt good. Michael Jordan, Michael Scott. I'm Prison Mike. We started this wheel of mutt season off so incredibly hot. And if you missed the season opener, I'll catch you up real quick. So number one, this is the final season. And number two, my prestige player from last season was Eric Berry, who also had the game ceiling interception last game. So I feel even better about this decision. He's boosted to a 99, normally a 98, and he is incredible. With our wheel spins last episode, we secured a 95 Ray Nitschke as a user, a serviceable 93 overall Marshawn Lattimore boosted to a 94, a 94 Saquon Barkley as our halfback. We got Scary Terry. We got 98 overall insane Justin Herbert, who I have yet to use at all. So I'm super excited to use him. And very importantly, we have a new power up player and it's outside linebacker Clay Matthews. Now keep in mind with my power up player this year, I alluded to this at the end of last episode, but for anybody who didn't see it, Clay Matthews, when he's maxed out with his power up is a 93 overall. However, there is a 98 overall limited boss legend, ultimate legend, Clay Matthews. Sorry, that's a tongue twister. But once I get this Clay Matthews to 93, if I get one more significant stat, I get the 98 overall. And as a quick refresher for Clay Matthews to get an upgrade, he needs one of any of these metrics. A sack, a fumble recovery, a forced fumble, an interception, a TFL, a touchdown, or a pick two, which would count as two upgrades because you get the interception and the two points. And like I said before, I specify on that because it has happened in the past. I don't know if you guys remember my power up Anthony Barr from last year, but he had a monster pick two, which maxed him out to his golden ticket. So that was wild. Regardless, there is a lot of stats, but honestly, with an 83 overall outside linebacker, it's pretty hard to get those. TFLs are rare. Sacks are not that rare, but for an 83 overall with not so great stats, they are kind of rare. So, so we kind of got to get over the hump, the snowball rolling here, and, and uh, hopefully get Clay Matthews nice and upgraded. As for the rest of my defense, I have a pitiful defensive line. My corners are very questionable other than Sauce Gardner. My safety's looking nice, but if you saw last episode, Trey Palomalu got torched. So I am starting to get more and more concerned about him. Offensively, my offensive line is serviceable, but still questionable. My backfield, I like Saquon, but I don't think he's my endgame halfback. My wide receivers might be the only thing where I literally don't need to touch them. Jefferson, Scary Terry, and Megatron is like endgame wide receivers for me. I, I don't think I'm going to have to mess with that. And I would like a better backup tight end to TJ Hawkinson. Noah Gray's not going to cut it, but for now, he's all right. All right, gentlemen, it's the final season. I hope you guys have loved every single episode of Wheel of Mutt. It is an honor to make videos for you, gentlemen. Hey! Super Bowl top 10. Oh, dude, I'm actually gonna be so sad. If I get that Ray Lewis, I'm gonna be sad because I just got Ray Nitschke. So I could do Super Bowl the big game or Super Bowl hype train. I'm gonna do Super Bowl hype train. The big game, I don't wanna waste a really good option on like Mahomes or Jalen Hurts because I already have Justin Herbert. So I'm gonna go Super Bowl hype train. We sort by time remaining and I could choose one player out of all the players we see right now. Once again, I know it says top 10. It's really top 12. There's six to a row. There's 97 Edelman. Ooh, I gotta go Darnell Dockett, I think. Or do I go 97 Jerome Bettis? Ah. Uh, <laughs> and you can't even be mad at me because Darnell Dockett and Jerome are in the top seven anyway. Regardless, I get to choose one of these players. I think Darnell Dockett might be more impactful for my team in the long run. But I do know this Jerome Bettis is so, 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 so good. This Jerome Bettis has 95 speed. He's 256 pounds, which is insane. He would run through everybody, man. Here's my opinion on it. There's so many good halfbacks in the game, but there's not many crazy good D tackles that I'm really going to get my hands on. I think I got to take Darnell Dockett here. I also have a small bias towards Darnell Dockett. Darnell Dockett always had really cool Madden mobile cards. I don't know why, but when I was playing Madden mobile a lot, Darnell Dockett was like the D tackle. 89 speed is crazy fast. All right, we can contain the Mike Vicks. 95 Excel is nuts. 97 block shed power move finesse. Okay. I think we made the right call here. 97 Darnell Dockett. Now abilities wise, I'm hoping for inside stuff for free. So inside stuff for one, I could go El Toro for zero or goal line stuff for zero. Ooh, I get inside stuff for one no matter what. Whoa, I could load him up. So in this third slot, you can get inside stuff for one AP. So I'm gonna go inside stuff for one right here. Mud.gg is like a sweaty Madden Ultimate Team website. And they actually have a abilities 
tier list. So before I throw abilities on people, I always look at the tier list. Because like right now, I don't know whether to run El Toro or goal line stuff. I don't even know if El Toro is good. All right, Mutt.gg says El Toro is a silver tier ability. There's bronze, silver, gold, and elite. So not that good. Except it does say that it guarantees you get a dominant bull rush win animation. You want to pair this with a pass rusher that has only bull rush moves, but not the other two moves. And if I click on Darnell Dockett on Mutt.gg, it actually shows me on Mutt.gg that Darnell Dockett does use a bull rush move, but does not use pass rush, spin, or swim. So El Toro is actually going to be nasty on him. So inside stuff, El Toro, and then double or nothing in defensive rally. I'm almost 100% sure both of these are gold tier abilities. Defensive rally is silver tier. Double or nothing is gold tier. We are going to run double or nothing. That is one hell of a D tackle right there. Inside stuff, El Toro, and double or nothing. Although I feel like pairing El Toro with double or nothing is kind of pointless. Fuck it. I'll go defensive rally. El Toro gives dominant bull rush wins from max pass rush points, and defensive rally adds a pass rush point to all linemen on third and fourth down. I guess I'll go defensive rally. This is all really weird, but whatever. I'm just, I don't, who cares? This is a D tackle. It's not going to change the game. Yes, it will. This is such an important position this year. Whatever. I'm overthinking this. Darnell Dockett starting D tackle. 97 overall. Let's get it. All right, gentlemen, our first wheel spin is a 97 overall D tackle. Absolutely no complaints from me. And our second wheel spin is going to be sensitive. Dude, I don't even want this spin anymore because I got shit on so many times last time. I need to fully clarify how this spin works before we go anywhere. The only players I am eligible to get on Seth's team wheel is any player that pops up when I choose the team I land on. Everyone was telling me I should have taken Josh Allen. Now, technically, technically, yes, there is a team of the year pack that you can earn from Seth's, which can give you Josh Allen. That is not the point of this wheel spin. The point of this wheel spin is you can get any player who by themselves can be completely completed in a set. I'm so sorry I wasn't clear, dude. I got dicked on for this. Anybody you see on your screen, I could take. Anybody who's not on your screen is not available. Fuck, I should've just taken this off the wheel. Like, God, you guys think you're so smart. You're all from fucking Harvard. Yeah. Sorry I didn't go to an Ivy League like every single one of you. Sorry. All right, the team wheel is spinning. I can get any single player in sets. Fuck you, you know exactly what I mean, but they must come from me. See how Seahawks? Ooh, I thought it might creep its way on over to the Saints. But we get a Seattle Seahawks player. Who's it gonna be? There's a 97 Abraham Lucas right tackle. That's already an amazing option. There's Bam Bam Cam, 94. Ah, I wouldn't need to go with him. Noah Fant, no. Geno Smith, no. Quandre Dix, no. Sean Alexander. It's just not worth it. There's a free safety Tariq Woolen. I didn't even know that existed. That's an awesome card. I have no use for it, but it's an awesome card. Beast Mode, Bam Bam Cam, there's there's Prez, there's a 97 Al Woods, and a 97 Bruce Irvin. Wow, Seahawks are kind of loaded on the sets. Only thing is, I do believe that Abraham Lucas is my best call here. I do have a 91 George Fant at right tackle, but he doesn't have any abilities. You know this Abraham Lucas gets crazy good abilities. I think I go Abraham Lucas here. Getting a 97 right tackle is, is something this team seriously does need. Damn, a big 328,000 coins for Abraham Lucas. Seattle Seahawks sets jackpot. Coming in clutch right there. Tariq well and free safety would have been cool too, but honestly, I don't even know if I could have gotten him. So I don't have those MCS tokens. Six foot six, three sixteen, excellent size, excellent stats. Wow, that's that's a hell of a right tackle. Let's get it. All right, let's see what abilities he gets. All I need is edge protector for one AP. That's really the only thing that matters. Edge protector for one, beautiful. And I could run secure or post up, but I don't think I need to. I'm gonna give him his rookie premier art too, because that's just that's just so cool. All right, I'm promoting him to starter. We'll move George Fant to left tackle, and we'll move our center, Ethan Pochic, to left guard. That's perfect. All right, that takes us to our third wheel spin. We'll overview this team, and we'll move on from there. This has been an excellent start to 97 overalls, and we get a one-times pack coin value. This is a tough one right now because the market is kind of tanked. There's been some crazy stuff dropping, so the market is obliterated. You guys have seen this before. I get to choose one pack that costs coins and coins only, and the combined value of every single player in that pack is what I get to spend on any player in the auction house. I know that some of these wheel of mud wheel spins are tongue twisters, but you guys are all Ivy League graduates, um, so you guys should be totally fine. The Free Agency Fantasy Pack gives me a choice of two of three 90 pluses and one of two 82 pluses. Let's try and get at least 90,000 coins out of this pack. Start out with the center I already have. We need at least a, a 90. We need, oh, yes, 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 yes. Okay, that's what I was trying to say. I got tongue tied. 93 is exactly what I needed because that'll sell for a decent amount. Maybe another one, maybe another one. Oof. 
Tight end. Okay, so we'll go center and left tackle. And then this round, if we got lucky here, dude, what the fuck? That is my third? That's my third Ramondre Stevenson. How does that keep happening? But honestly, he's an 89, so I'll take it. That's only an 82 pluses on that round there. So now we check what these guys sell for. So Ethan sells for, yikes, 17.5 is his median. So 17,500 plus... Cameron Fleming is selling for, thank you, 60,000 median. That's 77,500 plus Ramondre Stevenson, who is selling for 13,350. 77,500 plus 13,000 is 90,000 on the money. We got our exact return on investment. So a big roundabout way of saying I get 90,000 coins to spend on one player. I think the best thing I could get is a 93 overall with really good discounted abilities. Dude, honestly, just in a absurdly good right guard to this day. I go keep saying it, bro. The Harvest promo blessed us with some nasty cards. I am gonna go with a right guard here. I'm gonna load up the right side of my line. 93 right guard Zach Martin for only 60,000 coins. This card gets great discounted abilities. It has excellent stats, a 90 plus in every stat that's important for a guard. Other than the lead block, which is 87, leaves a little bit to be desired. But look at the discounted abilities. You got post up for 1 AP. You got nasty streak for 1 AP. That's so good. I'm I'm definitely gonna run post up. I'll see if we have the room for nasty streak. I don't know if we do on this team, but we'll see. Big offensive line upgrades and one big defensive line upgrade. So it's all about the big boys today. So Zach Martin is in. Abraham Lucas is in. Zach Martin's boosted to a 95. Abraham Lucas to a 98. We move George Fant to left tackle, who should be, he should already be a good left tackle. Yeah, 88 overall. And then Ethan Pochic. I'm really sorry. I, I, I don't know the guy. If it's Pokike, po Pocket, Posise, I don't know what it is, bro, but just get over it. All right, touch grass. If you know if you know how to pronounce that, touch grass. I am still without a punter or a kicker, and I could have used one of those wheel spins on it, so maybe that'll come back to bite me. Okoye is the power. Saquon's the third down running back. Sub linebacker is Nitschke still. We got Scary Terry at slot. Sauce at slot. Now my rush D tackle definitely needs to be Darnell Dockett. All right, gentlemen, things are looking good here. One defensive line upgrade, which is Darnell docket and two huge offensive line upgrades zach martin abraham lucas which also inadvertently strengthened my left tackle and left guard by getting to move everything else around we could run the ball pretty effectively we can pass the ball pretty effectively the scary thing for me right now is defense my corners are horrible my linebackers are mid my d-line has one good player on it the challenge wheel of course we are on a hot streak right now we've gotten two straight challenge wheels in a row Let's see if we can go for a third here it's 40 fantasy points with one player. These are my absolute favorite challenges. The question is, who's it gonna be? Top three looks amazing with Herbert Sauce and Eric Berry. He's got Ken Staler, Julio Jones, Drake London, and I smell an Atlanta Falcons theme team. I love people who dedicate it to the theme team, man. All right, let's just start this out with some base coverage, not do anything crazy. He's gonna go with a handoff. Oh no, he has Gus the Bus. Bro, this card just came out. It is the best hatback in the game, and it ain't even close. He has 98 speed. He has one AP freight train. I have a feeling he's gonna do a lot of that. We got a TFL, this fraud. Ooh, nice play. He goes to Julio on an RPO. Let's bring Barry down for the run this time. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Get there, gentlemen. Get there, gentlemen. Nice work. The fact that that has a timer saves me a lot. Ooh, was that Clay? Dude, look at Clay Matthews' hair. Holy shit. Clay Matthews' hair is silver. I know that's a bug in the game, but it looks awesome. Get fucking Clay Matthews. Right here. Right here, you fraud. The minute he couldn't run the ball to Gus Bus, he throws it to my face. All right, I'm going to go Barkley left side. He's got a nice looking defense, but hey, I got blockers now. I got real blockers now. Beauty. Ooh. <laughs> a sketchy catch. That is big time man coverage right there. See if I don't get the opportunity to roll out right. That's best case scenario for me right here. Okay. Oh, he's there. What a ball, Herbo! Oh my God, Herbo! You're kidding me! That's a PPR point. Three for the yards and six for the touchdown for Saquon. I think if anybody's getting it, it's going to be Saquon Barkley. Let's try to get Saquon Barkley a two-point conversion here. Get him an extra two points. I'm going to go to Barkley again right here. He's on John Madden. Perfect. Saquon, Saquon, Saquon. Ugh. He had that perfectly covered. I just really wanted the points with Saquon. How do we get Clay Matthews in there? He checks down. Micah! Oh, look at the reach. All right, I'm going to blitz Clay again. Oh, he might go middle with the hatback. Oh, close, but I'm not quite there. Big hits, making him pay for throwing over the middle. I'm guessing pass. I'm sending the house. Okay. Big hit. Hey! 
Dude, keep hitting him, man. He's gonna fumble. He may go back to the run now. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Good stop, though. Oh, he did get that. Dude, we gotta get Clay some upgrades, though. I gotta find a way to get Clay on him. <laughs> oh, Clay, get the TFL. Ah! Shit. Shit, that Gus is so crazy. Dude, Gus the Bus has got silver hair. Is that, you know what? As far as visual bugs go, it's kind of sick. How'd they give a black dude silver hair, though? How did they fumble the bag on that? He's that fucking wizard from Thor. You guys know what I'm talking about? I don't know. I don't know what his name is. He's the gatekeeper or whatever. My D-line can't handle this. Oh, he throws it over the middle. Actually completes that one. Got flattened. He keeps getting flattened for forward yards. It's kind of crazy. All right, we're going to switch up the formation here. He's got Daniel Falele in there. Oh my God, the ground and pound. He's got the 96 overall heaviest guy in the league at halfback. I love my opponent. This guy's awesome. Left side run. Yup, 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 yup. We're there. Ooh, kind of unlucky. We end up with third and goal. I'm going to call timeout right now so that we can still utilize the two-minute warning. I want some serious clock left when I get this ball. I'm not going to run commit. I think he wants me to. Get there, Eric. No way you outrun. Oh, oh, 89, Bruce Irvin. You're shitting me. He's on the two. Fourth and goal, I assume. I don't think he runs this football. Yup. Come on, come on. crumbles when he can't run the ball he crumbles there was a couple opportunities he had but i would have lurked a lot of them is this man coverage i see his user there we go there we go there we go oh! scary terry you got the wheels buddy oh damn they're fast bro those steam teams get like plus two speed to everybody that's why he flagged me down but scary terry man digging us out of that hole that's a great start see if i can't get barkley underneath now Oh, that's sketchy. I, I didn't even look downfield. I'm, I'm worried about... I'm honestly worried about the Barkley fantasy points right now. I'm not worried about it, but I'm looking for it. See if we can't hit Barkley right here. Yup. Beauty. Oh, he doesn't switch on, darn it. I can't make a move on him. Oh, beauty. Beauty. What a window! I'm gonna try a QB sneak. Let's see what set he comes out in, though. He appears ready for it. The only thing is I have secure protector. I should be able to get this. Yes. Wow. Sketchy, sketchy business. We barely got that. Herbert's big, and Jason Kelsey has secure protector. That's the only reason I liked that there. I'm cheesing like the Eagles, man. Wow. Barkley gets stuck, which is a bummer, because I really would have liked to have gotten him the ball there for some more PPR points. I'm just gonna look for Barkley on that again. Hopefully, he actually clears this time. Beauty. There we go. Take some yards, Barkley. Let's call a timeout. I'd like to get Barkley in the end zone to really, like, work on this challenge. I don't know how realistic it is. This looks like a big blitz. What about Jefferson? Barkley! Oh, shit. Shit! Oh. Barkley had his... Look at more silver hair. Barkley had his guy, but I kind of forgot about that corner. I should have taken my far right wide receiver, put him on a drag to get that corner out of there, and then I get to throw that. Overall, that was just stupid of me. This is definitely going to be a pass, so I'm going to blitz. Hey! Clay? Was that Clay? I think that was Clay Matthews. Holy shit, I think that was Clay. And there's Clay again. Almost got another one. I realized I did not have run and gun activated on Herbert, so I got to try and remember that after this game. But defense looks good. Offense looks good. I think I get the ball here. I do. Let's just get a field goal up. I think if I keep trying to spend all this attention on Saquon Barkley, I, I could end up losing the game. Can't forget that I can pass the ball. I give it to Saquon. He misses. I get a spin. Oh, that was a weird looking spin. I want Justin Jefferson to beat his guy. I just want a touchdown right now. Fuck it. Fuck it. Let's go for it. Oh! Get the fuck off, son! Are you kidding me? Justin Jefferson! Oh my god! That was on Team of the Year sauce. Do I have Deep Out Elite on him? I have Deep Out Elite on him. Can I hit Barkley? Oh, I can. He's open. Good ball. Oh. Not a good ball. Damn it. That's absolutely insane. I need to check the stats, though. I'm going to pause this game. I need to make sure that that was Clay Matthews. I don't expect a rage quit, but bro, my opponent rage quit, and I didn't get to see whether that was Clay Matthews who got the sack. I'll be so mad. Okay, so it wasn't Clay Matthews. I, don't, I feel like that was definitely Clay Matthews. All right, no worries. That's kind of a bummer, but not the end of the world by any means. Let's just make some big plays here. He throws a very nice... Ooh. Palomalu with a breakup. Palomalu's got his silver hair. Oh, Nitschke. Oh, I just barely missed. That was bozo ship. I mean, nice move. Hoping to make a play with Clay Matthews. Ooh, I think he just threw the ball at me. Wow, 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 wow. 
I was there with Nitschke, didn't get the INT breaks to tackle, and I tried to do a switch off, switch back on Palomalu. Obviously, I missed it. Palomalu is slow, man. Let's send this run right side. Okoye with a beautiful block. We got yards and yards and yards. Barkley! World's slowest animation. Otherwise, we got a shot there. There's another 10 yards for Barkley. He's got 2.2 fantasy points in the run game and a whole lot more in the pass. You think he leaves Justin Jefferson one more time? Ooh, that is not a good ball. No fucking way. Damn! What the fuck? Who is that? What the fuck? Saquon, that's 94 Saquon. You shit me, man. Ain't no way he just did that shit. Let's see if Jefferson can take sauce again. Sauce. Or not. Yeah, yeah, sauce. Jefferson on sauce. Cutty. Get your bullshit, man. Press coverage out of here. I got Herbo. I got Jay Jettas. It's not gonna happen. Now it's just a clock game. I need to make his next drive be, be slow and steady. Dude, I could get this with Justin Jefferson. Now that I really think about it, Justin Jefferson should be my guy for the fantasy points. He's got 100 fucking... He's got 100 plus yards and two touchdowns right now. No, 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 no. Yes, I'm there with Micah. It's gonna make me make this decision most of the time here. Oh, that's mine. No, nice switch on. Damn, nice play. Shit. Matthews doesn't get it. He's gonna take off with Ken. He's gonna slide. See what he goes for here. Okay, checks down to Gus. He very well could run this football. I gotta be ready for it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We're there. Troy! Shit, man. Dude, Troy's actually a liability. I can't believe I'm saying it. Hey, honestly, though, that's on me and, and my defense. He uh he mounted these no huddle drives are excellent by him. First and ten. He's gonna press cover Jefferson again. gonna step up with Herbo. We're gonna take eight yards right there. That's a very nice play. There's Barkley wide open. Wide open. Jefferson once again in press coverage. Hawkinson got a very nice release. Just gonna just gonna stay in bounds on this one. Please tell me that's in bounds. Forward progress. No, oh, I'm an idiot. I got out of bounds again. All right, first and 10. See how this sets up. Shit. Dwight Freeney with a screamer off that edge. Can't tell if this is man or zone. I got no clue what this is. What the fuck is that ball? Oh my god. I need him to score. That's actually what I wanted. Dude, my receivers bumped into each other. He ran the shittiest route ever. That was so bogus. What was that? Hawkinson was in the What the fuck? What was that? Oh, that's so brutal. That sucks. Okay, we know he's running the ball. I run commit. And once again, he still walks up the middle. I'm glad I let him score, though. I didn't want to let him chew the clock. I want to have an opportunity to win it on my own. Dude, what a frustrating throw. Presumably, this is a run. I just don't know where. Ooh, we're there. Dude, this ground and pound's killing me. Need a better D. I only got one good D lineman, man. It's killing me right now. All right, let's see how this looks. Yes. Ooh, beauty. Ooh, we can take it to overtime. We can score a touchdown and win it. No matter what, I want the I want the game in my hands, not his. Got him. Okay, Saquon. That was interesting. Second and 10. We got five yards right there. So we got back to neutral. I'm gonna go X under. I don't know how I feel about this play, but I'm gonna find out how I feel about this play. Barkley again. He's gonna leave that. Ooh, I'm gonna go airborne. I'm gonna take this to third and one. Spicy! Why is every Wheel of Muck game so damn good recently, man? Every game is so good. 47 seconds. Down by three. Barkley. Dude, you gotta go guard that. Nice blocks by Hawkinson. Damn, I could almost fumbled right there. You're kidding. All right, Colin, one more time out. Barkley's got to be fucking gassed. It's first and 10 from the 18. I'm going to send Barkley once again. I'm kind of looking at Megatron here, though. If we get in the end zone, we can win this ballgame right now. Honestly, I, I could have thrown it early. Didn't get to it. Ooh, I'm going to go five wide. I'm going to quick snap this football. That should be able to get him. I, dude, I swear, I think I can just come out here and snap this unless this is cover two man. Yes. There it is. Oh my God. Why is every wheel of mud so insane? He has to get in the end zone with 10 seconds. Because I, I just got to hit this. Wait, 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 wait. Holy shit. Everybody shut up. Everybody shut the fuck up. Wait, that was Jefferson again. I might have got the challenge with Jefferson. 26 to 22, 10 seconds left. He can't return this kick. Okay, let's give a nice little sky kick over to our boy over here. This should take hopefully maybe two or three seconds left. He'll have two plays. All right, he can fair catch. Shit. Holy fuck, I'm so nervous. I'm actually so nervous. What do you say, coach? Do I blitz? I'm not fucking with this. Okay, we're guessing pass. And I'm getting back there. Go Clay. 
Oh, no way. Oh my god. Holy shit. How did he feed that? I'm blitzing. Go, Nishki. Okay. He checks down. Okay, he got a little closer. Now he's got a second. One second, 43 yards to go. Dude, I've lost games like this before. I've lost on literal Hail Marys before. After all that shit talk, <laughs> look at John Madden's hair. Palomalu, ice is up. 26 to 22. Anybody who is so pissed when I let him score, that is exactly why I let people score. I want the ball in my hands to win the game. I don't want it in his hands. Woo! Why is every wheel of mud so fucking good? Why? Why is every wheel of mud so good? Oh my god, let's go. Dude, and look at the stats on Herbert, man. 18 for 25, four touchdowns, two interceptions. One was so not his fault. One was so frustrating. We had the same completion percentage, which is really interesting. I just outplayed Ken Stabler. His Gus, dude, his Gus Edwards was so good. His run game was so dominant. Only thing I gotta calculate now is fantasy points. Okay, so Barkley was 10 for 109 and a touchdown, which means Barkley had 10 plus another 10 from his receiving yards puts him at 20.9. Touchdown puts him at 26. Rushing yards puts him at 28. So Barkley didn't get it. Justin Jefferson was four for 140 and three touchdowns. Three touchdowns is 18. 140 puts him at 32 and four receptions puts him at 30. Six. Oh. Justin Jefferson almost got it, and I wasn't even trying with Justin Jefferson. That was really just an in such an insane game by him. Can we watch this real quick, though? So look at look at TJ Hawkinson's corner route here. What happened? And then he stops. TJ Hawkinson's running the corner out, and he stops. And then, like, what? Like, I thought he was going to be open over here. I don't know. Okay, this is it. Ken Sabler sacked. Oh, it was the silver hair on Darnell Dockett made me think that it was Clay Matthews. So unfortunately, no upgrade for Clay Matthews, but I'm over it. That was such an absurdly good game. We are 2-0 and oh in the final season, which is so, so, so amazing. So the challenge wheel would have given me one of any pack from the store. I'm going to open a pack just to see what I would have gotten. And open a game changer pack to see what I would have gotten. If I get something good, I'm going to be so pissed off. How did I even do this? Like, why? Why would I open this? I got a punter. Fuck you. Why did I open this? What is wrong with me? Why would I ever put myself through this on purpose? That was so dumb. Dude, I only needed like two more passes to Jefferson for 10 yards each. Oh my God. Dude, 95 offense, 91 defense, and we're 2-0. Oh. Not even at the playoffs yet. This is an insane start to a Wheel of Mutt season. So happy with how it's been going. And I'm so excited to see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching as always. I love you guys. Peace out.